What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are tackling another Funko challenge. That is right guys, in today's video we are tackling the Funko Dynamic Duo Challenge. Now, as many of you guys know, if you're following the series, in our last episode of the Funko Challenges, we looked at the Funko Rivalry Challenge. So we looked at guys who are completely up against each other. Today, we're going to have a look at guys that are best mates, get along well, don't get along well, but whatever they do, together they get the job done. And then at the end of the video, as always, we'll be challenging two more YouTubers to take up the mantle and follow up with the challenge as well. So let's get started. Alright guys, let's get straight into this challenge with one of the most iconic duos that exist out there. We have to get them out the way right at the beginning because they are super obvious. When anybody talks about dynamic duos, you've got to talk about Batman and Robin. Here we have the new 52 Batman. He is absolutely awesome. The reason I chose this Batman for my collection, uh, I also have the Jim Lee one just because of his cool pose and the 1989 Batman. I did review that one earlier. You can check out a link to that one right here. I'll leave it for you. The reason I chose this guy, uh, he was the first Batman in my collection and I chose him because of the awesome pose. I love the cape billowing and uh, he's just ready to start issuing punches and uh, letting people know their place. So that's Batman and of course going along with Batman is none other than Robin. And this is of course Robin from the animated series. Really cool little pop. Love the paint job on him. I love the way it's almost uh, the paint has got sort of a an, uh, for lack of a better, it's like an older tone. The paint so it looks kind of faded in a way which really brings out the fact that this is Robin from the cartoon series and uh, from the comic books which I think is a really cool little touch. Next up guys we're going to move a little bit forward in time to one of the more recent duos that's been introduced to us and these guys were introduced to us in the Star Wars universe and that is Baze and Chirrut from Rogue One. You almost shot me! So let's have a look at Chirrut first. Here he is. He's got a really cool tone to his skin. I love the way they've done him. Also his eyes done in a nice blue with some shading around the edges just to show that he is of course blind as he is one of the old Jedi Guardians that has gone blind over time but very strong with the force and using that to his advantage throughout the movie. So here he is guys. He's got his stick which he uses to beat uh, all those stormtroopers on Jedi. And uh, really nicely detailed pop. You can see the paint job is very clean. Uh, I like the effort they've gone into on his sort of arm piece that he's got here. And he's just a really awesome little pop. Guys, really happy to have him in the set. And he, of course, goes along with Baze, who is a complete badass in the movie. Uh, he's, uh, whoopsie, he's got his machine gun, which mows down stormtroopers at, a, at an astonishing rate. And, uh, of course, attached to the, the tank at the back, where he uses to recharge and reload to keep firing. And just an awesome pop. I like the uh, extra little bit of detail I've gone into doing the scar around the face. And uh, yeah, really happy with this guy. Really happy with Chirrut as well. Next up, guys, we have a request that I've had from a lot of people when they heard I was going to be doing this video. And that is for the duo that is Legolas and Gimli. <laughs> Now these are, these are part of the new Lord of the Rings wave, well relatively new, and to me one of the best waves of pops has come out in a long time, purely for the detail on these pops. I mean look at Legolas's armor, uh, he's, got all the, he's got the leaf of Lothlorien around his neck, uh, you can see it there, he's got his bow ready, um, he's got all of the intricate elven work done on his, uh, his tunic or his hallbar, whichever one you want to call it, uh, his hair is nicely styled. Um, the, they've really gone into detail on the hair um, and just really incredible pop guys absolutely love this figure and uh, love how he was portrayed by Orlando Bloom and the role that we sort of see shifting between the old enemies that are the elves and the dwarves to the good friends that they become which I think really starts at the Battle of Helm's Deep uh, which was an epic scene of course in the Two Towers so here we have Gimli and much like Legolas his detail is astounding I mean look at all the intricate work done on his helmet there He's got his two battle axes ready to go, and as you lift him up there, 
you can see, just having a look quickly, he too has the leaf of Lothlorien. I mean, that's wedged way behind his beard, so you're not even going to see it. And Funko have still gone to the effort of putting it there, which is, you know, a great little plus for Funko there. It just shows the extra mile that they've gone to in the more recent years with getting the detail in these pops absolutely right. Next up, guys, and the next two duos are actually represented by single pops, which I thought was quite fun. So, one of the best comic book duos, and more recently, thanks to Tom Hardy, live action duos, is... Venom. Be this armless, legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a turd in the wind. Do you feel me? What the hell are you? We are Venom. And that is, of course, the relationship between Eddie Brock and the symbiote Venom. So here he is. This is comic book Venom, but I'm going to refer to him in terms of the latest Venom movie, which I thought was really awesome and, and had a lot of fun with. Uh, so here he is, guys. Here is Eddie Brock uh, slowly transforming into Venom. Of course, the big difference with the movie Venom is that he didn't have the sort of Spider-Man logo, the well, the spider logo on his chest, because in the movie he hadn't, or Venom, the symbiote, hadn't come into contact with Spider-Man, so they had to sort of work around that. But I love the back and forth between these two characters that Tom Hardy really brought forward in the movie. Uh, I love the, there was sort of some really cool jokes and some really fun moments between the two of them. Uh, and the fact that they're both kind of losers on their own planet was quite a fun little uh, angle for the movie to take. So that was a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to the next one where of course we are going to see Carnage and that's going to be absolutely epic. I hope they do it well. And as many people are hoping, I hope it's actually R-rated because I think it would be really cool to you know, just be a little bit darker than the last one was. Last up, guys, we have a duo from one of my favorite fandoms. It is a Hot Topic exclusive pop, and that is Newt and Pickett. Oh. Here's some attachment issues. Now, come on, Pickett. Pickett. Now, they're not going to bully you. Now, come on. Guys, how cute is Pickett in this case? He is such a great little pop. I actually got this from a mate over in Australia. They were flying to South Africa to visit me. And I said, please order this from Pop Culture in Australia. And a few weeks later, I had my Newton Pickett. So what I love about this, as simple as Newt has done, or simply as Newt has done with his pose here, he's just got his wand out. What I really love about this pop is that you can take uh, Pickett off and you can have him separate. So Pickett you can move around. Let's just have a nice little look at him. He is in the same mold as the bigger Pickett that you can get in the Crimes of Grindelwald set. So there was no reason for me to pick that one up because I have him along with Newt. That is all of my guys out of the box looking awesome and those represent my dynamic duos. That's just about it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you did enjoy the video and you've missed out on the other Funko challenges that we've done right here on the channel, I will leave a link to those right up here. So make sure you guys go and check them out and I uh, hope you guys enjoy them and that you've been enjoying this series so far. Don't forget to comment down below with whatever challenges uh, you would like to see done on the channel. This challenge came from a couple of buddies of mine on Instagram that messaged me. So if you want to comment on the video, if you want to Instagram message me, whatever you want to do, send me the challenges and let's see if we can hook them up right here on the channel. Then guys, as always, we'll be passing this challenge on to two other YouTubers. And in today's video, I'm going to be challenging uh, Sean Ryan Toys and Games as well as Funko Pack. So guys, I will leave links to their channel in the description down below and I'll be messaging them to let them know that they have been challenged to put together their Funko Dynamic Duos and put up a similar video. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoy the challenge. I hope you have as much fun with it as I did and I look forward to seeing your response videos. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy Funko challenges and you enjoy unboxings and giveaways, we're doing our next giveaway at 400 subscribers, so don't forget that. Uh, if you enjoy unboxings, giveaways, haul videos, everything Funko, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing coming up in the future. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the challenge. Let me know down in the comments below what challenges you want me to take up and what you thought of today's challenge. And I will see all of you guys in the next video.